said that because I mean I'm getting so old now, Brent. I was in the coaching staff when he played under Nick Mallett. I mean that's how old I'm getting now. You know, I mean he was playing for the box and won the Tri Nations when when I was in that coaching staff. So I've known him a long, long, long time. And in fact, I knew his dad. His dad was headmaster of Sun Duplessis when I was coaching at GP and I coached against his dad as well. So I mean I I know the family you know better than most. And he's played here. He came to the Bulls. He was a pretty good Bulls player for us. I think he became a Springbok kind of year as well. Um, so he's got fond memories and, and he'll understand. I mean, that's why, you know, just now what Kubis asked me, will he play quickly? I mean, he'll know more than anybody what it's like to play at Loftus at 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday. Um, but he's an astute coach. I mean, he's done well. You've got to give him credit. He's, uh, he's taken this team at top of the log. They only got two teams in Scotland. And I'm talking about that. They have lots and lots of registered rugby players. And you've got to give credit to where it's due. He's done, he's done really well with this group of players. And he seems to have them playing, you know, the way that he wants them to play. Everyone knows, you know, I can say the same. Billy Leroux was coached by him at Free State. So, you know, as much as he knows about us, we probably know as much about him. And me having seen him as a youngster and Billy having been coached by him in, in, in Free State. So, and Chris was probably too. So, but it's... Uh, you know, one thing I've learned about rugby, it's not whether I know Franco or he knows me, it's about what the players do tomorrow.